you know, the ones that come to mind, plantar fasciitis, the common runner's knee, you know, these things, they, they're, they're under the same kind of theory as what you're, you're putting across. Well, well, what's interesting about those injuries is, um, they all have things in common. So, uh, you're right. You know, the, the, the top five injuries, they all occur from the knee down for a start. Um, they all, uh, come on gradually so they're not traumatic you know like when you break a leg or something so they all come on slowly um they're all due to repetitive uh overuse um they all have a link with some sort of uh what i would call blunt kind of running form biomechanics um maybe plotting would be the kind of more uh, general uh term and interestingly, none of them ever occur to muscles. And that's, that's, that was something that when we were studying injuries in football players, uh, when I worked in Leeds, we, we, I started to notice, hang on, these football guys, they get loads of muscle injuries. And then I was like, but us runners over here, we don't, we don't really get any of those. Now, when you think about uh, what makes you move and what makes you control your landing well it should be muscles so we you know we should be using our muscles quite a lot really but that 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 got me thinking why why are runners kind of uh overloading these small little structures that are not designed for uh producing and absorbing um load so yeah those injuries those injuries have a lot in common and therefore you're right uh the the solutions will have a lot in common as well yeah yeah okay so yeah no that's that is so so great to hear that and, and really good to hear and there there is a, there is a book over my shoulder there on my bookcase um which is the lost art of running by shane benzie um which has a similar kind of um approach to biomechanics definitely you um, me loser, set me free. You make me win.